right, another Monday, another uh, mess in the Casey Anthony murder case. At the top of the show, we told you the state again wants the death penalty for Casey. New at 5.30, more finger pointing at the deputy who was called out to look for Kaylee. First on Fox, Holly Bristow is in the newsroom right now tonight to explain. Hey, Holly. Well, Amy, we know that a meter reader called deputies back in August when he thought he saw something in the woods near where Kaylee was later found. He says that the deputy blew him off. Well, it turns out there was another guy who dealt with the same deputy around that same time who says he was also blown off. And the sheriff's office says the deputy lied about what happened in both of those incidents, and that's why he was ultimately fired. He didn't walk with me back here. I expected him to, but he didn't. That's what. That's when I. That's why I say I felt brushed off. Cause you know he, he could have walked back here with me. This is Keith Williams. He grew up just down the street from where a meter reader found Kaylee Anthony's remains. As you can see in this picture, his little sister used to play with Casey Anthony. Williams says he spent at least 20 hours searching for Kaylee in the woods along Suburban Drive back in August. While he didn't find her, he did find a few things of interest. Today, he walked us back into those woods to show us what he found. First thing, a Father's Day balloon. Yeah, it's right here. It's awesome, Dad. You may recall Kaylee's family last saw her alive after Father's Day, the day after. A couple hundred yards away... This is the same exact stuff that, when I originally came back here, was back here. Stuffed animals. The rabbit, the, the bear, that's a uh, care bear. But you know, why is there stuffed animals like that? Williams thought they could be Kaylee's. He told deputies he took them by the Anthony's house and showed them to Kaylee's grandmother, Cindy. Cindy told him they did not belong to Kaylee. Williams showed them to his girlfriend. She said to call 911. He did, and Deputy Richard Kane responded. Williams says the deputy looked at these stuffed animals and chucked them back in the woods. Kane is the same deputy who met the meter reader a week earlier when he thought he'd seen a skull. Do you think that Deputy Kane deserved to lose his job? I've lost mine over less than that before, so uh, it's hard to say. Now, Williams tells me that he searched the woods all and down Suburban Drive about a foot into the wood line. Williams says he never smelled anything funny, and he tells me he wonders if Kaylee's remains were there when he was searching back in August. Live in the newsroom, Holly Bristow, Fox at 5. There are tons of developments in the case against Casey Anthony tonight. We've also learned about a new motion that Casey's attorney, Jose Baez, has filed. Baez wants to get the cell phone records from several key players in this case, including meter reader Roy Kroc, who found Kaylee's body, Tony Lazaro, Casey's ex-boyfriend, and Casey's family, including her parents, George and Cindy, and her brother, Lee. Baez is asking the state to hand over those records.